Hey guys, Alex here with Galactic Toys with yet another unboxing video, and today we're going to be opening, you guessed it, Throne of Eldraine. You know what they say, a box of Throne of Eldraine a day keeps the doctor away. Or you spent all your money on magic cards and neglected your medical bills. Either or. Moving on. Again, prices are pretty volatile. We are filming this on Thursday, the day before the official release, so we're not really sure how things are going to settle, but all we know is there's a lot of sweet cards in here. Let's throw that to the side. And we are interested in seeing what we get. If you're curious what to see what a, a box of Eldrain's like, this is the perfect video for you. All right, let's dive into this new set. Let's enjoy it. All right, we got our Borer token. Looks like we have the uh, rares in front again. We start off with an Iron Crag Pyromancer. Uh, I think this card has definitely some potential. Drawing cards and dealing damage seems good. I guess it just deals damage when you draw cards, but I'll take it. We got our Stormfist Crusader. Um, not much to say about this one. I played it in my pre-release uh, sealed deck, but you know, nobody cares about that. Uh, I went 3-0, by the way, in case anybody was at wondering. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I buttered my hands before I started. And we have a Once in Future foil. Great. Very cool. I do like the foiling on this set, although I noticed there's a little bit of a curling going on already. And our rare was Bone Crusher Giant. Doo, 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 doo. Hope everybody's having a great week. Just trying to batten down the mizzen mast and learn as much about this set as we possibly can. Hey, our first mythic, Questing Beast. Uh, solid mythic, seven, eight bucks. Hopefully it uh, stays around there and doesn't do the, uh, the deep dive after prices stabilize when everybody figures out that, hey, half these cards aren't playable. Da -da 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 -da. And we have a foil rare. A foil love struck beast. Uh, five five for three usually sounds like it's a good deal. And there we go, our normal rare, once upon a time. Uh, I'm a big fan of this card. I think any card that you can cast for free is definitely gonna be played somewhere. Very happy about that once upon a time. Woo. And we have an acclaimed contender. You know, not exactly uh, a money rare, but still, 3-3 three, three for 3 that potentially draws a card. Why not? You say, Alex, what are your credentials? How are you able to evaluate these cards? What do you know? Uh, I'll have you know that I just pulled a magic mirror. Uh, solid second mythic. Uh, my magic credentials really aren't that stupendous. But I did win an FNM once with Teamer Energy, so, you know, I got that going for me. Hey, and we got a Black Lance Paragon. Mardu Knights, that's going to be a thing. That's definitely going in. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but what we're really trying to hit with these box openings is as many Okos as the body will allow. Yeah, foil Mantle of Tides, cool. And a Castle Embreath. This is actually the first of the red rare land cycle that we've seen in these unboxing videos. We've just seen a lot of uh, Castle Lothwain and Castle Ardenvale. So that's cool to see that. Always a big fan of utility lands. They sometimes find a home in Amulet Titan in Modern. And of course, if they're good enough, they find a home in many standard decks. Uh, Wishclaw Talisman. Tutor on a stick with a reciprocal effect. I think your opponent what, gains control of it. Yeah. That's cool. Interesting card. And Clackbridge Troll. This thing was a house in Limited. If you opened one, uh, you were just smashing faces. I'm not sure if it's going to make a big impact in Standard. It does cost five mana, but it is a very, very powerful card. Again, drawing cards and a hasty 3-8 three, three, er, eight, eight Trampler. It's just a, a winning combination, but five mana is a lot to ask for in any format, really. Uh, Flaxen Intruder. We got the Storybook Foil. 
Very cool. Ooh. And we, the green, uh, the green castle. Wow. You see, we're gonna see all the castles by the end of this. I hope. Um, yeah. I'll just call it the ramp castle. Just to save time. We are a third of the way through here. Let's just keep going. Uh, Old Sworn Knight. No super spicy pulls yet. We're only at two mythics and we're already a third of the way through. Hey, <laughs> the blue castle. See, I, I'm just predicting this. You call me Nostradamus here. I highly doubt we'll see any of the other ones, but we'll see. All right, give us an Oko. No, Fay of Wishes. Um, yeah, solid two drop. Fires of Invention. I really hope somebody breaks that card. Has such a unique effect. And again, cards that let you cheat on mana really do some interesting things in this game. Cheat on mana or a free whatever. Hey, foil turn into a pumpkin. That is a gruesome looking pumpkin. Oh, well, I guess uh, Throne of Eldraine said they were going to make me a liar because we got Castle Star Destroyer here. They said. You just made a bold statement, sir. We are going to contradict you immediately. And I said, Emery, Lurker of the Lock. Again, $5 rare. Sees modern play. Interesting effect. Uh, it is very vulnerable, though. You know, two toughness. Dies to Lightning Bolt. Unplayable. Just kidding. It's such a powerful effect. You'll take the risk. And Avantress, Gargoyle. Ooh, that's a lot of text. Just stick with my 8 8 tramplers, thank you very much. Oh, wait, that one has a lot of text too. Never mind. And happily ever after. Whoop. Uh, foil Forest, sure. Hey, Great Henge, solid mythic. Um, I mean, we pulled a foil Great Henge the other day, but we'll take it. I get to choose my mythic slots. Uh, I think that's definitely one that I would want in there. I would not be surprised to see that in a mono green stompy deck in standard. And Mirror Maid. Not exactly uh, the card we were looking for. Come on, we, there's got to be at least an Oko in here. We're already at three mythics, almost two thirds of the way down. Come on, we got to get something. Give us something here, something spicy. Uh, Lock Mere Serpent. That is not spicy. That falls into the bland category. Good finisher for control, maybe. 7-7 seven, seven with Flash. It's interesting. Uh, foil Blood Haze Wolverine. And a storybook art, Lovestruck Beast. Oh, I wonder what character he's supposed to be inspired by. Hmm, perhaps it's above my fingernail. Da, 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 da. Don't sue me, Disney. Not that I would imply that you know, Wizards was inspired by any sort of uh, Ardenvale Paladin foil and Escape to the Wilds. Not that I would imply that Wizards was inspired by that. But really, can you copyright a 300-year-old uh, fairy tale? Uh, Dance of the Mance. Not too high on that card. Feels like uh, I opened as many copies as possible when I was doing my pre-release pack, but you know, them's the breaks. Hey, Feasting Troll King. Big boy with some form of recursion. But again, six mana. He is no Carnage Tyrant. If I'm paying six mana, I want something that control decks are going to cry about. And a Wildborn Preserver. I really do like these new perforations. They make the packs opening so much easier. 
course, I just accumulate even more garbage at a faster rate. Stone, co stone Coil Serpent slots into anything. Solid card. Which I think it'll make some sort of an impact. Definitely playable. I mean, it's no Hydroid Crasis, but it's still pretty sweet. Whoa! Another Foil Rare! And it's the, the Foil uh, White Castle. That actually puts us at all five of the, the Rare Land Cycle. That's awesome. And Murderous Rider, best rare in the set. Hey, I'll, I'll just focus on it. So we can all just bask in its glory for a second. Mmm. Yes. Solid rare. The new Vrask is Contempt, I would call it. Better, because it's a uh, two for one. Although Vrask is uh, Exiles, doesn't it? So, you know, that has. Oh, look, another castle, Ardenvale. We are at now, now at uh, six castles. Dear Lord. Call this the castle box. Hopefully they all spike. So we can get there. And a foil rally for the throne. I really like the foiling on this one. The blue flame. Look at that. Save the camera, really. Can the camera capture my glee? Uh, opportunistic dragon. Can you, can you stop the wind? Can you bottle the joy from opening a pack? I mean, just listen to that sound. Magic ASMR. And uh, another mythic, Realm Cloak Giant. Um, you know. That's the kind of mythic that I like to see in a pre-release pool or, you know, draft, but not the kind I want to see from a box. Eh, storybook frame, Falmire Knight. Whoa. Witch Pile. Come on, we still got hope for an Oko. Still got hope for an Oko. And a foil weapon rack. It's cool. And a Piper of the Swarm. Oh my gosh, are we down to our last two packs? That's depressing. This is uh, another Love Struck Beast. This is our third Love Struck Beast in this, uh, in this box. Can we get there? Last pack. All our hopes are riding on it. Come on, everybody. We're at four Mythics, so there is a possibility that there is a fifth Mythic in this pack. Is this the Oko? The audience is hushed. The bleachers begin to bow, and it's a Fervent Champion. Okay. Yep. All build up. Nothing. I mean, we still saw a decent couple of Mythics here. Uh, Great Henge. Definitely a solid pickup. And Magic Mirror, uh, sure, why not? Questing Beast, you know, I'd put that above Magic Mirror any day. And then the Realm Cloak Giant. And our foils we saw. Castle Ardenvale, that's cool. And the foil Lovestruck Beast. We'll see where they go. Always nice to see a foil rare. Interesting that we got so many castles. So maybe we'll see that this is a trend that's repeated in future box openings. Sometimes you get the castle box, and it takes up all of your good cards. Well, uh, that's throwing a bell drain, everybody. Again, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, check out Galactic Toys for all of your toy and collectible needs. And check out Galactic TCG for all your TCG needs. We'd be happy to sell you some cards. Just take a look, and you'll see what we have available. Again, please remember, comment, like, and subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to see, anything you'd like to change, please let us know. We're very open to feedback, and we're happy to be here with you opening packs and getting that pack sound in. Right. Peace out.